second technique in the fundamental syllabus for this week is going to be uh, turn to our knees from bottom side control. It's nearly always done in combination with the previous movement, but uh, you need to have both for different situations. So, again, we'll just start the side control, same usual way. Um, and I'm going to try and again get my bottom knee in. I may even be able to, but again, sometimes as I uh, get the other out, she goes down, throws up, we get ourselves to here or something like that, but we can't move ourselves around. Usually she moves around towards my head a little bit, and I can try and bring my knees back in, but it's a little bit difficult sometimes. So sometimes it's easier rather than trying to replace the guard at this point, is to try and take my left hand off the head, tuck my head, and begin to take my left arm under her body to this side here. We want to go through this gap. Yeah, we can't do this if I'm facing this way because my body will not support it. So I will have a bottom knee in somewhere, my chin goes down, and my left arm goes through. As this begins to go, my shoulder goes forward, my head goes down, and then my near leg goes away, and we come into here. Yeah, different things can happen from here. We can turn in for a double leg, a single leg, uh, any other kind of stuff. Or we can just turn to our knees, but we do need to get our torso flipped so we're facing down towards the ground. So, and uh, I'm almost like here. So I have this set in. Again, I'm going to scoop under a little bit. So I'm going to begin to bring myself up. But again, I just circle away, or I'm just too much on this side. I want to just turn over a bit more than I like. Okay, my guard isn't coming back in. So I push with my left elbow up. I circle my hand around, so this will uh, rotate at the wrist here, and I will drive it through. My hand will go through, and then my shoulder will go through afterwards. Okay. So um, for me, generally, I'm going to turn in and try and grab just this one leg here. Here, this is fine and works pretty well. But uh, again, sometimes it's not always an option. Again, I will try and turn and I may turn further and I end up here instead. That's perfectly fine as well. Um, if I do get to my knees but I don't have a great grip, my aim is to get, you know, preferably not that flat for very long, but I need to make sure my arms block her from circling to my back. I don't want to get to my knees like this. We haven't really achieved anything. We just get jerked or mounted or, or whatever. So, we do have to be thinking about how we, so if we do get to here and we turn, we need at least to have our arms out blocking to here because I'm rotated this way. This arm is the important one. She can pass to this side, but it'll take a long time, but I have time to deal with it from there. So usually I want to get to my knees and have my arms wide so that my elbows can kind of catch on her knees. That keeps her funnel in front of me and stops her from you know jumping towards uh, my back and making things bad. Just turning to your knees is not inherently a good thing uh, as long as you don't have any way of actually controlling that. So if I just turn to my knees and do nothing, I usually make things worse for myself. So I will need to try and get to facing her and controlling her position by either grabbing the pants, grabbing one leg, or just blocking both. Don't just tuck your elbows under your body. This and this is not necessarily the way to go. So, so we are going to get ourselves set up. Again, my left elbow and my right elbow are both up in this direction. I'll start the same way, my knee will come in, but again I get stuck here or whatever. I can block this first if I want to, or if I don't, my hand goes underneath, my arm shoots through, and then my hips turn and twist over. I can't just stay flat here. I will need my left knee to go over and my right leg to come down. Okay, that, that, if you do that heavy with the knees, it will usually twist your spine and turn your torso nice and easily. This gets me out to one side, my arm already blocks it, and I can come up. If I can grab one leg, that's great. Uh, if I can get that more in front, grab both, that's okay. If I have one leg, usually we can try and replace the guard, um, or we can try and take down from here, or try and go towards the back, around here. If I have both, usually the head comes to one side, put the double leg, and come on top, inside the guard. That is turning to the knees for a takedown from bottom side control.